they should say to all ministers, anybody who's in the in the cabinet, any minute, in fact, any MP, you have to drive yourself around. You can't have a ministerial car. Mm. You have to drive yourself around. Are you going to have to put some lights on? That's fine. That's what's all right, isn't it? That's, that's a bit seedy. With yeah. you with the pink lights behind you. Nick, yeah. But um, just just have viewers. <laughs> <laughs> we've set new stuff up we've got new lights the lights are battery powered i thought they'd last two they said two hours they've lasted an hour um so you have to bear with us for one or two episodes bob we've got all these tweaks done but i think that's actually all right if you get it yes it, lo it looks a little bit cozy for my liking but we're not scissoring no there's no there's no yeah. there's no gay stuff going on uh i hope um the, the um what was it yes yeah, so i was thinking what well, why don't why don't they say to all ministers, you have to drive yourself around, basically. You can't, you can't travel in private jets mm. or I mean, helicopters. If you want to get somewhere in the country, you either go the other in your car yeah. or you've got to use public transport like everybody else. You can't go first class, yeah. basically. Because I think if they did that, they start to maybe understand the problems that we, the people, have. They would, but who are the people who could instigate that change? Them. And that's the answer to your question. Yeah. But isn't that they've, wor they've worked and skived and climbed up that greasy pole all their lives to get to a stage where they're treated as special, yeah. as emperors. And once you get there, they go, I'm not giving this up now. I've worked to get here. I want this chauffeur driven driven limousine. I want the private jet. We had them um, Ed Ed, what's he called? The Milliband. Milliband preaching about carbon and stuff like that he's taken private jets recently to go to meetings in other countries private jets and he talks Jesus. about how we save the environment these people want all the trappings of success yeah. and it being at the top of the greasy pole yeah. so they will never ever give it up and do you think all people are like that because we i was having this discussion with my wife after i said this uh and i said well i think lots of people are that when they get money they start to behave that way but are all people like that? Not 100%. I yeah. would, I'd say most people. Yeah. But the people we want in charge are people who don't want that, though, aren't we? We want people in charge who... Because by not by not driving themselves around mm. in London, yeah. by not travelling on public transport, they are not seeing our problems, are they? They are... They, they, yeah. This idea that they sit in Islington at dinner parties, it's correct, isn't it? They have actually now elevated themselves above us, the peasants, to live their life in a, in a you know, where they used to joke about the Queen as she thought everywhere smelled of fresh pain. Fresh pain. Yeah. But that's the way they live now, isn't it? it Taylor is. Swift concerts. Yeah. Oh, I've got some tickets to 25 quid from yeah. those, you know. It's, is that what they're now thinking? Because they're, they've reached this point. You're right, they're grabbing greedily at the, 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 the pleasures available to people in their position and have they just l totally lost touch with reality i don't think any of them had that much connection with reality anyway not in our political system for decades now but if we we need to try to understand why they have those modes of transport and it's because in, if our system works better and they were much better quality mps we want their time spent fixing the country not driving in Russia, where they can sit in the back and read the papers from the red box. We want them going on, you know, private planes across the country or to different countries so they can get some work done. So not being mired all the time by drunks on the train going to London. So we're quite willing to allow them that little bit of luxury because we expect them to use their time in a more productive manner and get more work done, which benefits us. What annoys us at the moment is there is no work being done. They're not productive and they're not improving our lives. But, so, I, but yet they keep all the perks. Yeah, but I think that proves my point because if they did go on the train to London with everybody else and we're being minded by drunks, they should say, this is unacceptable. I mean, you talk about the train. There's this, an article I sent you. A 13-year-old girl in London was on the tube. Yeah. Travelling on the tube. Yeah. It's a 13-year-old normal girl. Yeah. She was tricked by uh, a guy, took her back to his flat where three him and two of his friends raped her yeah. continuously. This is a 13-year-old girl in London yeah. on the train. These are the realities and the problems we are facing as a society. Yeah. And how can our politicians possibly understand that when they travel in luxury cars, 
Police cars go, at, police motorbikes go ahead of them so they can travel through those. Yeah. They go to Taylor Swift concerts where they think the tickets are 25 quid. They travel in private jets. How can they possibly see what we are facing as their, as their, well, their electorate, basically? They won't at that moment in time. But if we had better politicians who weren't career politicians, they would bring all that life experience into the vault. But they don't. They don't have they, any initial life experience. No, because yeah. they've gone from university studying politics into working for an MP in politics. Yeah. So they have no real life experience. Um, I think that, that that's the answer. But we don't want our politicians wasting their time driving themselves. No, I, 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 I get that. Yeah. I totally get that. And I understand that. However, by the very fact they would discover what the traffic yarns were like. Yeah by the very fact that their car will be hitting potholes every three yeah. minutes, they would start mm -hmm. to see the issues that need to be addressed. Not sending, I, yeah. not sending a hundred billion to Africa or 10 I billion. I think they know what needs to be addressed. They get, every MP gets hundreds of emails and letters every single week from their constituents telling them what's going on. They're getting polls all the time about what the general public think about this, that, that they know what needs to do you be. think they know really they, they know they just don't care it just doesn't fit in with what they want to do or more likely those issues are just too difficult so i'll ignore them and i'll look at an issue that makes me look better why but why would they think they're too difficult why would they think <clears throat> fixing the potholes in the roads is too difficult what's what has been said to them that makes them think I can't fix the potholes in the road. First thing will be money. So where's the money coming from? Um, we've had potholes that long now that most people are used to. It's become part of everyday life. People moan about it, but no one's no one's going to not vote for you because of potholes. If we take that money out of the NHS education, out of this, out of that, you may lose votes over that because you're now taking money away from something. No one's going to win an election on potholes. It turns out if you fix the potholes, then everyone's cars would last longer. Um, transport systems would be easier. More people would be able to get to A to A from A to B quicker. There'd be less cars on the road. The haulage industry will do better. Less pollution. So there's lots of benefits. Mm. But then they're also looking at well, if we can find the money, what are the odds on the government initiating a national scheme and funding to fix the potholes? without it going wrong. And if it goes wrong, I get the blame. At the moment, I don't get blamed for potholes because we've had potholes for decades. But if I initiate this and spend money and it all goes wrong, I'll be to blame. I'm not willing to put my head above the power pit for this. Do you think they're actually thinking in such a sophisticated way? Yes, I think they're advisors. I've, I've spoken to politics and advisors. This is what they're being told all the time. Their job is to be elected again. Hence why we don't fix long-term problems. Because to fix long-term problems, you've got to invest a lot of time, energy and money. And many of our problems will take decades to fix. These individuals will not be in politics in decades. So why am I trying to fix these problems now? So I basic, get no benefit out of So they're basically selfish. Yeah, they're basically selfish. basically selfish individuals mm. who don't really care about this stuff. Yes. They just want to think about it. That's kind of your premise for this, isn't it? Yeah. And, and, and I guess that goes back to the entire root of it, isn't it? These people, do not care about us. They care about their careers and where their careers are going and going to Taylor Swift concerts. That's why we call them career politicians. Yeah. Did you enjoy that video? I think you did. Come on now, hit that bell, subscribe, comment. Let's build this channel. I need more followers. I need more subscribers. Be part of the journey. See you soon.